So today I'm in Bandera, the cowboy capital of Texas. But this year, it's the epicenter of the drought of 2022. And right now I'm walking through the dry stream bed of the Medina River. It's shocking to see what is normally a beautiful river lined with bald cypress trees at such low levels. There is zero flow here. Only a few puddles here and there. Unbelievable. Typically people enjoy tubing down the river, kayaking. I just can't believe it. So if you look at the U.S. drought monitor maps, you can see that Bandera County is right in the middle of what is called an exceptional drought. The worst category that they have. And so today I'm going to go around this area and see what an exceptional drought looks like up close. We're going to go to Lost Maple State Park, visit the town of Utopia, and maybe a couple of other locations. This truly is a devastating year for Central Texas. Beautiful bald cypress trees hug many of the rivers and streams in the Texas Hill Country. But due to the extreme drought that we're experiencing in 2022, along the Sabino River just north of Utopia, many of these bald cypress trees are turning brown and dying. There's an example of one right there. And as you can see, there is no flow in the Sabino River right here. And that certainly threatens these bald cypress trees, which require lots of continuous moisture. More dead bald cypress trees just ahead. Even the big one is turning brown. It's not looking good here in Utopia. So upstream of the dam here at Utopia Park, everything looks pretty and normal. But downstream tells a different story. All you've got is a stagnant pool of nasty water and several dead bald cypress trees.
So I'm just to the south of Bandera at Medina Lake and the park on the northern shores is closed due to the water level being so low and you can see that from a distance not much water in that lake for sure and I see a lot of stranded boat docks as I was driving around the lake I'll try to see if I can find a spot where I can get a better view it is kind of tough because so much of this is private property around here they thought they were buying a lake house and now the lake is gone So next I'm at one of the most treasured parks in all of Texas, Lost Maple State Natural Area. And I'm going to hike right up the Maple Trail and East Trail. This is where you have one of the highest concentrations of maple trees in the park. I just talked to the park ranger at the visitor center and she said that the trees here are indeed very stressed. Fortunately, they had a half an inch of rain this past week, but they are far from being back to where they need to be. No water in the Sabino River today. Every time I have been to this park, I've seen at least some water here pooled up or flowing through here. And now it's been reduced to practically nothing. Once upon a time, the climate of Texas was much cooler and wetter. And so maple trees likely thrived all across the landscape of central Texas. And as it became hotter and drier, they began to die off. And now they are restricted to the narrowest, wettest canyons in central Texas. And so at some point, are we gonna have a drought our series of droughts that begins to kill off the last few that remain here. So one thing I'd like to know is in 2010, just prior to the 2011 drought, what was the population of maple trees in this park? And then now you go through 2011, a really bad year, and now the drought of 2022, what will the population of maple trees be like after from 2010 to 2023. More brown leaves up in this maple tree. Some of the trees here give off the appearance of being whittled down through time. After a series of droughts and or disease, the extremities of the tree die and the limbs break off, kind of like the tree you see right here. So if you look up, you can see these branches up here are now dead and will soon break off. And then the tree gets whittled down. And I've seen several up through here just like that. So I'm sure the half an inch of rain the park received helped perk things up quite a bit. You can see a lot of moisture on the trail here. I imagine just one week ago, these plants along the side of the trail were much more wilted in appearance. But you know, as severe as this drought is, all it's going to take is a couple more weeks without rain, and they'll be right back to where they were before, if not worse. This is the first time I've had this spot all to myself. Now I'm entering the grotto area. The last time I was here, you could hear the water dripping, 
dripping, dripping off the edges of this cliff. Now, I hear nothing. One of the signs that lets you know that a forest is very stressed is when you look at a small tree like this and you see multiple dead leaves scared all throughout this little tree. And it's not just the maple trees that are struggling. You can see patches of brown leaves and dead limbs all over this oak tree. The entire limb of this maple tree is now dead. So this drought may have been the last straw for this maple tree. As you can see, it clearly had leaves on it this year and it has fallen over. Even the Texas mountain laurels are showing signs of stress. Here's yet another example of a maple tree that appears to have been whittled down by this major drought. <laughs> 